And we'll see what's happening. Hey, yo, I know. I know. I know. So we will be going into Muramasa against Sandman. We got our little Mac into Fox. And at this point, looks like I'll be solo casting this. How much fun. First Muramasa. Looking for a stack. There we go. Getting his controls in order. And right now, looks like a gentleman's agreement for a stage start on Battlefield. So game one, we got Battlefield. Little Mac versus Fox. Sandman versus Muramasa. Let's get into it. A best of three in the winner's side of the bracket. And of course, Sandman with his Little Mac. Of course, his number one most played character. And easily his most comfortable. So Muramasa getting a nice little grab and getting a nice little string of up airs. That's three, but Sandman getting a nice air dodge. And that up special. Getting a nice little bit of damage into it. But Mac sitting at 74% already, and Fox only at 40. And it looks like we got my boy Zach coming onto the mic. Hey Zach, how's it going? Sandman upbees out of the combo. Uh, <coughs> Little Mac does like doing that, especially Sandman. Goes for oh okay, there's try or catches the Yo, right the back. whip punish. That's not safe. Is Mermas gonna punish this? Uh, he doesn't. He reacts late to the no tech. That definitely could have been a kill, but doesn't find it. And Mormas actually wisely recovering, and that's not going to kill Fox up air. Even though it is very strong, it has been staled because Fox does love to use that move a lot. Now this is scary for both characters, honestly. Like a lot of hits will just kill Little Mac off stage. That will that would have killed absolutely, but now Mormas is in uh, down tilt up B, down tilt up B kill percent. That's a dash attack. Ooh, and he's able to get back on stage. I like okay, it. Okay, Muramasa can't find a stop, move to kill him. There's a dash attack. Gonna send him off stage. Down smash. No, nope, not quite. Ooh. There's a... Sandman lands on stage with a side B. Uh, no punish from either player. Oh, just for an up air. That's gonna be a stock. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That down tilt into the up special conversion. Very, really very nice. good for Little Mac. Yeah, especially at that high high range percentage. And he almost has his KO punch. Yeah, this, this is, is actually, actually really scary. terrible for Murimasa. He yeah. needs to he needs to either kill him like right now. Actually no, obviously no, that's Ooh. gonna whiff. And uh now he, he can't kill this little Mac. Backdoor will not send him anywhere. And he can't really edge guard. That's that's an up smash though. Can't edge guard, but Fox. Punishes up smash. the side B on stage. Yeah. Really nice play coming out from Muramasa. Just holding that shield through that jab bubble. Okay. A bit of uh, weird stuff going on there. But, um, oh, catches the roll I like with that. the F tilt. Side B's through the jabs, actually. I was not expecting that. Dash attack. Waits for the up B. Gets an up air. How many can we get? Oh, an air's out of it this time. Looks That's like he just got that one up Definitely a safer option. Yeah. But, like, definitely not, like, as big a reward. Ooh, and nice that scar. maybe looked untackable. I'm not super sure. But either way, Muramasa didn't tech it if it was techable. And uh, that is game one going to Sandman. Yeah, game one going over to Sandman. I really like that read coming out from Sandman. Uh, just getting a nice little read on that, uh, on that recovery there. Uh, because Muramasa, using his illusion to get back on stage. We could awesome. see a character switch from Sandman. I don't think he's going to do it. Muramasa has a Ryu and a Link, but they're nowhere near as good as this Fox. They're, his Fox is definitely the strongest character. Are we seeing a character switch from... Oh, we are. Rosa? Or Cloud? Yeah, okay. He's going to go for the Rosa. This Rosa did actually beat Bishley, so he definitely knows what he's doing in the matchup. So uh, we'll see if this will work for game two. Yeah. And, like, yeah, Muramasa counterpicked to Smashville. Does not want to deal with uh, Little Mac on Smashville, so he's going to like to switch characters. Yeah, for sure. Now this Rosa has progressed quite a bit. Yeah. It's definitely coming along very nicely for Sandman. Yeah, I'm really like uh, legit, legit. We can't. Okay, there you go. Thank you. We couldn't see the thing. Now, Muramasa looking for these full hop downers. If he gets the last hit before landing, he can get a lot. He can he can get a lot of conversions like up airs, forward airs, footstools. Even I'm not sure if Muramasa is confident in the footstool stuff, but he de definitely can get it. That up air will not kill. But uh, good air dodge read by Sandman. 
Murmasa is struggling to get in. Like, Rosa is like a walling character. Like, the jabs are so hard to get by, and like, if you hit Luma, it could like delay the hit long enough that Rosa can still shield. But Luma's gone now, so now he really needs to make this count. Yeah, for sure. But Rosa's, he does have that percentage advantage right here. Yeah, Rosa's air drift is really good too, so it's like kinda hard to catch her landing. It goes for the fair footstool. I don't actually know if it would have killed. If Sandman had his jump, probably not, but. Yeah, Rosa's recovery is just way too good. There goes for it, catches a side B, but Mermasa is not actually like, he's hit him a decent amount, but he hasn't made them count. Like, he hasn't like over, he hasn't extended enough on the openings. Who catches the two frame. Goes for it again. Up till, up till, oh, bait, tries to bait the air dodge. Sandman wisely jumping out. And there's that safe uh, Rosa shield pressure. Jab almost kills. So, yeah, Muramasa actually like really struggling to find his way in on this this Rosa. And down air will kill. Yeah, full hop down air is going to take the stock. And Sandman is in a big lead right now. Yeah, for sure. Doesn't, Only at 60 percent. Doesn't Rosa know how to get in on this wall that is Luma. Having a hard time dealing with the jabs, the spaced aerials, all, all that fun stuff. Nice little rapid jab coming from Muramasa there. Yeah, now, oh, that was a good F smash. Baited the get up attack. Yeah. And so Sam now he needs to capitalize. Yeah, Sandman. Oh, looking misses almost the grab. That, kill that was really important. Could have given him stage control. That was a good F smash, but I feel like he could have run the F smash there. Maybe close the stock out. Oh, goes for a greedy punish. Not going to get super hard punished, but uh, any damage you're taking at this point is not very good. Spot charge down smash. I like it. I like it. Really and nice. He's not very. Yeah, I feel like Muramasa is like inexperienced in the matchup is showing right now. Like he's not super sure how to punish things. Hi, Ashley. What? <laughs> Yo, no okay. worries. We're yeah. at a university. Oh my gosh! Oh right no! Oh, oh really that nice killed him. Fifty percent. But I'm going to honestly, I'm going to assume that was bad DI by Muramasa. It looked like he might have been holding in. But like, that up is going to kill. Honestly, that's nothing new, but people are still surprised when it happens. Yeah, nothing new. And I'm going to get off commentary. With that stage choice of Town and City, I'm going to take it. All right, hold on one second here. Wait, so does that mean I play Devin? I'm assuming that was winner's quarter. Yes. Wait, is Tommy best of five? Yes. Yeah. Nice.